Hello there guys and welcome to this video. In this video we'll be looking at the oldest edition of Windows, uh, Windows 1.0. Okay then, so this is the final in, in this series and in this series we're looking at the Windows history and this being episode 8 we're looking at Windows 1.0 so it wasn't really an operating system, let me put that um, straight it was basically just an add-on for DOS okay so I'll just show you around um, we just have like a little file explorer mind you thing so um, it's not a massive amount you can really do so this, this isn't going to be a long video by any means so we've got a test file called abc autoexec.bat which is used to boot the computer so don't touch that calc which is a little calculator so 9 times 9 81 so that works calendar as you've got in Windows 3.1 there we go Let's close that uh, yeah we'll see any changes why not cal and so you can see it's created one there called calendar and we can open it then so uh, uh, there's that card file um, Now I've never used uh, this operating system before, so I don't know where anything is. Not there's much to it, of course. But hey, clock! And this is the the funny thing. Look at that for a clock. What does that do? Nothing. Okay, so useful if you can't tell the time. Um, control. Ah, so this is like a little um. A little control panel. Um, so they did have this in Windows 1.0. Um, I said they introduced it in Windows 3.1. My, my bad. Um, do this. There we go. So we've got like a little uh, to-do list. So we've got to shop for a new suit. Phone dentist. Take car. Make plane reservation blah blah blah, clean garage, mow lawn, schedule a vacation, uh, write to grandma, buy a present to Martha, for Martha, talk to Fred, take out garbage, call piano tuner. So, it's just a little notepad thing. Okay, so, um, different fonts, lots of things, MS-DOS, is going to do anything, notepad, notepad obviously you've just seen that, and I've already done something. There we go. Uh, so you could minimise things as well, which is quite cool. That this is your sort of start menu thing. Uh, notepad paints. Let's see if that works. It does as well. Hello. So, as you can see, they didn't they didn't they didn't make that many changes in Windows XP to paint, obviously. Um, that was a joke by the way. Um, practice. Preparing for home sale. Um, don't know why any of that's in there. Uh, read me. Let's, let's see what that says. Printing without the spooler. Running batch files. I wonder if it's got a date on it. No it hasn't. Okay so whatever. Uh, Versi, so you've got like a, um, a game which I've never played so I don't know how to play it. Um, script, spooler, terminal. Control, settings. Okay, so um, win.com another another notepad kind of thing so yeah that's practically all there is to it in in here ok 
get in through. Uh, okay, that's does play. Um, let's see what else we've got. Special. Create directory, change directory, format data disk, mix system disk, and uh, set volume. Let's end the session. So now that returns us to MS DOS, uh, where we just powered off the computer. Um, so yeah, thanks for checking out my video on Windows 1.0. Please check out my forums at www.bernstechtips.co.uk. Um, yeah, if you need any support, please email me at support at bernstechtips.co.uk.